What's happening guys? I hope you've had an absolutely awesome week. So I wanted to make a quick um, message to you guys to announce the mini challenge for next week. So this week, which has been week four, I didn't announce the mini challenge because some of us have been feeling a little bit overwhelmed with everything that we needed to do during the day. And all I wanted to do this week is just focus on getting your training done, um, which is what is what seems to have happened with a lot of us. Okay. So what I want to do from next week, which is going to be week five, the mini challenge, which we can actually start from tomorrow. Okay. Um, I want you to try and get um, 10,000 steps a day. So we're going to stick to five sessions a week, still plug into the group, your intention for the week next week. So once you've done your first workout, do one of five, or one of six, how many workouts you intend to do, keep plugging that into the group. You're going to get 10,000 steps for the day. So I want you to try and monitor, monitor that step count either on your phone or on a watch, you know, Fitbit or a Garmin. If you don't have a watch, don't stress, just put it, just track your steps on your phone so you can see how many steps you're doing every day. Um, and then if you hit your 10,000 step goal, take a screenshot, take a picture of, of, of the step count on your watch, plug it onto the group there so you can keep yourself accountable. Um, so you've got, got your workout in there, got your steps in there. And then uh, ideally, I'd like you guys to still do at least 11 minutes of cold plunging a week. Um, and then the, the other challenge that I'd like to throw in the mix from Monday next week is that the minute the sun goes down, so as, as the sun drops, as we get into sunset, we're going to try and limit as much artificial light as possible. Okay? And the reason being, artificial light, you know, the lights that we have in our house, um, uh, the lights from our TV, the, the blue light from our laptops, our phones, that is a very stimulating light, okay? So for those of us that struggle with slowing down at the end of the day, struggling to get some good quality sleep, even if you think you're getting good sleep, I still want you to attempt this, okay? Because at the end of the day, if you do track your sleep, you need to get at least an hour and a half, hour 45 of deep sleep. And even if you're getting uh, eight hours of sleep, you might only be getting 30 minutes of deep sleep. Now you need that deep sleep to, have the, to get your brain to detox, to produce healthy cells, to produce a good metabolism, health... So we want to make sure we're looking after our light environment. Now, for those of you that read my ebook, you'll understand that your light environment um, has a fundamental role in your circadian rhythm and hormone productions and energy and recovery. So we need to, I want to prioritize this for the week. So not only from tomorrow, from next week, you're going to get 10,000 steps a day. You're also going to be limiting as much as possible any artificial light after sunset. So what that means is, Use less artificial light. Don't turn as many lights on in the house. Try and keep more lights off. If you can, if you'd like to go hard at this for the week, then use candles at night. And what you'll notice if you do it properly is that with more dark uh, and less stimulating light, your body's going to produce more melatonin. It's going to produce less cortisol, which is what keeps you awake and alert at the beginning of the day. And because you have, a more, you have more melatonin, less cortisol, you'll likely feel... That thing starts slowing down, you'll get into more restful sleep, you'll sink into a deeper sleep quicker uh, than you normally would have. And you won't sort of hover on those um, shallow uh, sleeping waves. So you get a more restful deep sleep, you'll get that brain detox and you'll feel, you'll feel more rested, you can train harder, recover faster. So there are a lot of benefits to it. You'll likely lose weight faster because you're training so hard and you, your body's being conditioned to use energy instead of storing it. So I want you guys to see that everything we're tailoring, things like getting your workouts in the week, your cold plunges, activating your nervous system to produce more oxygen available, to burn more calories, uh, getting your step count up, um, limiting blue light after sunset. All these things are geared towards helping you lose weight, feeling better, feeling healthier, um, finding more um, joy in your day, in your life, being more productive at work. Um, you know, they're, they're all geared towards helping you lose weight, the fast tracking things. So this is an eight-week challenge. We need to do everything we can to lose the weight and feel good. So... Um, from next week, let's just say from next week, from Monday, next week, week five, you're going to add in a 10,000 step goal uh, a day. And then you're also going to limit blue light after sunset. Now, what I've done in the past is that I've asked, um, uh, well, I've asked us to send a picture to the group every now and again next week of what it looks like in your house uh, with either the candles um, to make all with limited light to show that your light environment is darker. So you're more than welcome to show the group what your house is looking like at night so that we are keeping, us, uh, keeping ourselves accountable, encouraging other people to do the same thing. Um, you'll see on the, the photo that I add there uh, next week, 
I use a red light device. If you don't know, if you haven't heard of red light therapy or a red light device, um, I'm going to send you um, a link to a YouTube page. It's got some really cool videos about red light therapy, what it can do for you, how it's, uh, it takes away um, the blue and green light that are stimulating. It just has far infrared and infrared light. So as you can do your thing, it's not simulating. Most of us at night are slowing down with it. My kids love it. So that has also been used to uh, boost our hormones, to boost recovery, produce more melatonin, get a deep, deeper sleep. So there's a lot of cool, cool things added to that. So not only are we starting to look at our light environment, I want to slowly introduce red light therapy, which we can do, we can chat about at another time. But for now, the, the new challenges are 10,000 steps a day, Send us a, some proof that you got your 10,000 steps. Keep adding your intention for the week, how many workouts you'd like to get, and limit the, the amount of blue light or artificial light you have um, at the end of the day after sunset. Those are what I'd like you to focus on, adding into the challenge from what we've been doing before. Okay, hope you guys are enjoying um, this challenge so far. I'm thriving and loving this thing. What I'd like you guys to also do is please chat to me as much as needed to help you fast track weight loss. If we need to tweak your diet plan, I've got a few people that I'm going to be tweaking their eating plans a little bit to fast track their weight, fast track the weight loss. So like I said last week, at the end of week four, I want you guys to plug in some new pictures, either send them through, through to me, keep a, a, a record of your, of your current pictures on your phone if you don't want to share them, and then also um, plug in some new pictures onto the app if you're on the app so we can see where you're at. If you look at the picture from the beginning, if you look at the picture that you load now, and you're not happy with that transformation, then I need to change something. I want to tweak your training plan a little bit. Um, I want to tweak your nutrition plan a little bit. And there might be some of you that aren't happy with where you find yourselves in this challenge. It's totally normal. We just need to make some tweaks. But I can't make those tweaks if you don't talk to me. So talk to me now. Let's make some adjustments to the eating plan if we need to, to fast track some weight loss over the next four weeks, because I want you guys to finish this thing on a high. Okay. So I look forward to hearing from you. Let's add in the new mini challenges from next week, and I'll talk soon.